it's bright today. Um, so I have 50 pages of the garden spell left because I fell asleep last night and didn't finish. So I'm going to finish that and then I'm going to start reading Immortal Cells. And then tomorrow I'm going to be filming this a funny blog because Immortal Cells is a very dark book. And it's kind of bringing me down. Like it's a good story, but it's, it's bringing me down. So I thought it would be kind of fun if I tried to make like a face of makeup out of things that you find at commissary when you're in jail so or prison whatever they call it so I went to the dollar store and got a variety of things that are not makeup that I think I could turn into makeup so there'll be a little humor just to lighten the blog up it's getting to be a bit dark and heavy so just lighten it up a bit just just, just a few giggles before we get back to the torture just a little bit I have to say, I have a favorite. Tyler is my favorite character. My favorite character in this book. Like, the man knows what he wants and he gets it. Listen, she could only stare dumbfounded as Tyler entered ominously and ominously closed the door behind him. She grabbed the lapels of her robe, which was ridiculous considering what she'd just gone over to his house to do. Why did you change out of that dress? I love that dress, but I like the robe too. His eyes slid down her body. Why did you come to see me tonight, Claire? Please forget it. He shook his head. I'm through forgetting. I remember everything about you. I can't help it. They stared at each other, taking take one man and one foolish woman and put them in a bowl this wasn't going to work you're thinking too much again tyler said so this is your bedroom i've wondered which one was yours tyler listen to me she said if you eat an apple from the tree you'll see the biggest event in your life i know it some sounds impossible but david probably did see how he was going to die oh come on tyler said i ate one of those apples and didn't go off screaming in the night you ate an apple claire asked again the night we met when I found all those apples on my side of the fence, what did you see, she demanded. All I saw was you, he said, which made Claire's features go soft and she looked up at him. What? He didn't get to say anything else because Claire had decided to kiss him.